Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find all the hidden gems on Cyberpunk that are located in the north side. So let's crack straight into it. The first gem we're going to be going for is the one right at the top that you can see I'm hovering over now. Let me zoom out so you can see which section we're in, right at the top here. And then the one we're going for is literally the one that is highest up on the map. So let me zoom in so you can see that. Click on it so you can see the area that we're going for. And let's go and find this in game. So we're back on the games map now and this is where you're going to want to put your pinpoint right here. We're about to roll up on it. Again, I'll zoom out, zoom back in. It's just on this road where it splits off here and this is where we're going to locate number one. So let's go and do that now. When we locate the area, you just want to turn right off the bridge or off the road here and go round towards this area over here. Now this is where all the goodies will be located just on the floors as you can see we approach. I'm not actually going to find out what is exactly in each one of them in this video because this is for you guys to enjoy yourself. I just want to show you the areas that we're going to. Let's move on to number two. The second one is not too far away from the first. You can see it's just right next to it here. And if you zoom in, it's in between these two areas right here. There's a road and that's where you're going to want to put your marker. Let's go and place that in game. So let's zoom in on this one now. If you zoom right in, you can see these two areas that we've just seen on the better quality map. And it's just right down the middle of this road. Let's roll up in it now anyway. But as you come here, it's just to our right as we pass it. We need to be in this area right here. So let's park up. Actually, do you know what? We might just be able to drive up with the bike, to be honest. Because I'm not getting out. You can see there's a legendary item there. You can see there's a rare item there. And plenty of gun spawns and things like that. That's number two. Let's move on to number three. The next one is only two minutes down the road. It's not far at all. This is what it is based on this map. Let's show you what it is on the other one. And this is the in-game map. I'm zooming right in now. And you can see I'm about to roll up in it here. And it's going to be this building here where we're going to find the hidden gem. So we're rolling up on that marker now. And it's this building to my left. Let's spin around. And we do actually need to fight a few drones and that in here. So I'm going to go and do that now. No one really wants to watch me struggling to fight drones. So once you've dealt with the pesky drones, where you need to go is right to the back of the warehouse where you're going to find yourself something quite tasty in this box right here. So this is number three. Let's find out what's in number four. So this next one's to the left of the north side region and this is it right here. And if you zoom in, you can see it's actually on some sort of circle and we click on it. We see it's right on top of this Sophia here. And this is actually why I use this map because I can't actually see this kind of stuff on the in-game map, which is kind of irritating. But anyway, let's jump in and show you where you need to mark up on the in-game map now. So this is where you need to place your marker. Let me zoom in. What I like to use is this big building here as a reference and this bridge. But when you spot this bridge, zoom in and just put your marker about an inch or a centimeter before this. And that's exactly where you need to go. Let's go now in-game and find it. So when you roll up here, you're going to see to your left some stairs and we're going to stop and you actually need to get off your bike on this one. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here, take another call, plenty of calls in this game and run you round to where we need to go. So once you've come all the way around the back here, this is where you need to go up. I must say it is annoying that you can't hang up phone calls on this game. You have to listen to them. You can't even not answer them either. They answer them for you, which is a bit annoying. But once you get up here, you're going to find another legendary item and a few other goodies. I think there's a component and things up here as well. Anyway, yeah, there's some decent stuff up here. This is number four. Let's go and find out what is behind door number five. And next up, we're going to be looking for this one right here. We need to just put a tag out on the road and use this building as a reference. Let me open it up so you can see what it looks like. That's the garage. Let's have a look in game. And if we zoom in in game here, you can see this is that building there and this is the road and this is the garage area here. So just put a marker outside there. Let's see what's in here now. I do know you had to deal with a couple of drones with this one. You can see it's just to my right here now. But you don't actually need to shoot them. You can kind of just run past them. It's totally up to you if you want to try and destroy them, I think. So we're just going to roll roll in. Nice, fast and effective. Try not to be hit there. Run past it. You see, you can avoid it. No problem. And there's loads of good things in here that you can find in this hidden gem. Let's move on to the next one. So I'm sure you can see the next one is literally right next to this one. So we're just going to drive straight round to it. I'll show you the way to go to get there real fast. Because it shouldn't be a problem getting round at all. So we're back in game. Obviously, that was the garage back there that we've just been to. Take a left at the end and then take another left under this area right here. 
and then one more left at the end and you've done a full circle and you're going to be behind this other building and as you see you can approach there's a legendary item on the floor and there's a few other bits and bobs about as well let's move on to number seven and the next one we're going for is this one right here if you zoom in you've got a couple of pipes coming across as maybe a reference on the other map and there's a little car park here and it's just in the corner of the car park where i'll show you now we're going to want to put a tag out here let me show you where that is in game and this is exactly where that is in game you can see if you zoom in here it does look a little bit different the pipes are just one pipe here or something like that whereas it looks like two on the other map and you have a little dark spot in here just out on the road there is where you want to put your tag and let's roll in and see what we get so it's just to the left here now for me as I come to the area. You actually get scraps here with these guys. Personally, I just avoid them. I just run past them just to show you where we need to go here. And you want to go back here, take a right, go down the stairs, down again, and you get yourself a rare item there as well as a few other bits and bobs on this body. That's number seven, guys. Let's go and find number eight. So with 8, 9 and 10, they're all right next to each other. So we're going to do them all in one go. I'm going to take you to this one first. And we're just going to come into this road area here on our marker. And into this area right here. So let's get back in game. So this is where we need to locate in game. Let me zoom in here. And we just want to put it in the road here. Look for these red containers. Well, everything's red on this map. And just mark it in the road by the containers. And then let's go and get the next three hidden gems now. So obviously we're approaching it. It's just to our right here. It's these containers you want to have your eye on. Let's get off the bike. And when you're off the bike, what you need to do is just jump up onto this container. And then jump up one more time. And this is this hidden gem. There's a rare item here. Let's go and find number eight now. You can't take your bike here. You need to run up these yellow stairs. I'm going to actually um, fast forward it a little bit. Make it a little bit faster. And it's this blue container here that we're approaching now. Now, this is the first thing where we actually need something extra, which is level 6 body to actually get into this hidden gem. So, when you open this up, you're going to need to have level 6, otherwise you're not going to be able to get in here. There's plenty of good stuff in here. This is number 9. Let's go and find number 10 right now. And with number 10, you do actually need something as well. It's just over the road here, not far at all. But what you do need is something to ram down the gate. Last time I was here anyway, I couldn't get in through the gate without ramming it down. So, you know, you come here, you're going to get stuck. Don't get stuck on the gate, ram it down. I'm going to get a car. So now that I've ruined someone's day and taken their car, I'll be able to go straight through here. And yeah, we're going to jump straight out of the car again. We don't need to be in there. And once you're down, you want to start doing some parkour, starting with this area right here. You're going to want to jump it up here, jump over and jump up. Over this one, onto this thing here, and then up this way. A couple more jumps and we're going to be there now. This one, this one, and all the goodies are up top here. There's not too much on this one, but this is number 10. Let's move on to the next one. Three more to go and this one is number 11. It's right under the bridge and one of the more awkward ones to get at. So I'll zoom back out so you can see where it is again and let's go on to the in-game map. So here we are, this is where you want to place your markers, this white one right here. Use this as your reference, also use these circle things as your reference if you're struggling to find it. I'll zoom out one more time so you can have a quick look at around where it is. So let's go and find it anyway. This was quite a tricky one. I actually don't know the perfect way down here even now. But this way definitely avoids fights and things like that if you want to avoid them at the moment just to get these things. And I drive past it to start with to this area right here. I jump off my bike and we are going to take a little bit of damage here, but that's okay. We don't mind that um, by falling on this thing. As you can see, it does hurt quite a bit, but we're okay. And then we need to run back on ourselves going over this way. Once you're down here, just come and run around here. You can avoid all the people that are around here then and jump over this fence at the end. Oh, nice landing some trash cans there. And once you're down here, you're going to find the body on the floor here. Let's go and find the next one. So we're on to number 12 here now. And if you zoom in, you can see this is actually like bordered off with a fence with barbed wire on it. And there are police officers at the front gate. So it's kind of tricky to get into, but we're going to sneak over the wall in the back here. 
It's also quite tricky to get to because you can't mark it up on the map for some reason. They only let you mark up certain roads on Cyberpunk. Might be another bug, who knows. It, it's very annoying to be honest with you. I'm going to show you that on the in-game map now. I'm going to zoom out so you can have a little look again. And one last zoom in for what you're looking at. And here we have the in-game map. So this is where you need to go on the in-game map. It's all these roads over here. And the area we're going into is this area right here. You can see I'm on the wall. It doesn't even show the wall here. But what I mean is if I try and tag this up here, it doesn't go there. It seems like you can only tag up certain roads. It does let you tag that one. It does let us tag that one. But these are the front entrances and we just can't seem to tag them up. Um, anything for that road down there just doesn't seem to be happening for us. Anyway, this is where you need to go. Hopefully that's enough information for you to be able to find it yourselves. So the way that you get in is you use these old cars and containers that are on the outside wall. And you're able to just jump straight over. The barbed wire doesn't do anything to you. It doesn't damage you at all. And once you're in, you want to run over to this crash area here. And if you go around the right side of it, you're going to see dead bodies and plenty of goodies on the floor to pick up. This is number 12, we have one left and we're done with this area of the map. Loads more to come, but let's get into it. So this last one, as you can see, isn't too far away from the one we've just got. I've just hopped straight back over the wall and I've got my motorcycle here with me. I'm going to drive you straight round to this one now and that is this one here, the last one in this video. So let me get the game back up and let's start driving round. Not far at all. And one more left here and we are in the section where we're going to find the last hidden gem. But so once you're here, you want to jump off. Probably going to have to deal with these, which I'll do right now. Okay, now that's done with, we can head upstairs and find the last hidden gem. It's just on this body at the top of the stairs. So with that being found, that is the first 13 down in that particular region. There are so much more secret areas to go through. It's going to take a long time to cover them all. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. I will be obviously doing the other regions at some point in the next couple of days. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching as always and take it easy.